Hello people. I'm making this video now because um, there's been a lot of uh, talk these uh, last days about uh, events which are showing that uh, uh, the apocalypse is coming. Because you see that there's been uh, the war in Syria. There's been uh, Ebo Ebola. And uh, also there are these upcoming elections which have shown that the the GOP is uh, 10 or 11 percent higher than the Democrats so the Democrats are really going to total defeat now and uh, in one week there's going to be the election and when the uh, Democrats lose both the uh, Congress plus the Senate that'll be uh, the situation will be desperate for Obama and the, the government. And that's when all the birthers and all the revelation of Obama's scandals and the Benghazi and, uh, and the NSA scandal and the IRS scandal with the Tea Party, all, all the scandals will all come out because then uh, the Obama will be vulnerable. He'll be vulnerable because he'll have lost all his power. So that will be the crucial moment where everything will be revealed. And the re re revelation, the revealing, is the apocalypse. That when the, when the Antichrist, which is Obama, is revealed, that is the apocalypse. And it's, it's right around the corner. It's in one week now. So, um, uh, at, when Obama is revealed in all his deceit and all his lies, then he also has to be revealed as the Antichrist. And uh, we have a method for revealing that Neil Obama is the Antichrist. That's by uh, telling the world that uh, there, there, there are articles which have been written about this, that the lottery in Chicago in Obama's hometown drew 666, the number of the beast, the number of the Antichrist, on the day after his election. So we just have to reveal that to the world. There, there are articles which were written like in Newsweek, and uh, that's the most prominent article, the, the article with the uh, most, uh, most uh, views. The Newsweek is really a big magazine. And that, ma that uh, newspaper said that uh, Ob it was asking, is Obama the Antichrist? That was the title of the article. And it said that on the day after his election, the lottery drew 666 in Chicago in his hometown. And that's truly a miracle because statistically that's impossible to happen. Now there are a lot of people who have been saying that uh, that is not um, that what what I've been saying is not true. I, I made an article, uh, I, I made a video yesterday, and uh, people have been been saying that that's not true. What I'm saying is not true, but people will not accept the fact that. 666 in the lottery was a miracle and that, that actually proves that Obama is the Antichrist but it's a fact and then you can see the Newsweek article where it says it says it and and you can you can go to the Chicago lottery and check it the day after his election the lottery drew 666 which is a, a heavenly miracle because that 666 is prophesied in the Bible now um, The thing is, if the Antichrist is revealed, then obviously uh, that will be the apocalypse, and the apocalypse is the moment of the second coming of Jesus, and it's also the moment of the um, the uh, the uh, yeah the second coming of Jesus for Christians, for Buddhists, or for Hindus. Uh, the second coming of Jesus has no meaning, right? And I happen to be a Buddhist. So to me, the second coming of Jesus uh, is of not important for me. That does not signal good news because I'm a Buddhist. So I don't consider that uh, Jesus Christ is good news. Christians, for Christians, it's good news. But for me, it's not good news. Now, people, like, I'm saying, okay, the apocalypse is going to be next week. And I'm announcing it now. But... Bringing this message is not good news for me. So I'm the reluctant messenger. I'm bringing a message which is not good news for me. Why, why is it not good news for me to reveal 
uh, the the uh, second coming of Jesus. Now, I, I want to I want to specify one thing. Breaking the apocalypse is good news for me, but not the Christian apocalypse, the Buddhist apocalypse. But I consider, and I know for a fact, that the Christian, Buddhist, Hindu, uh, all the apocalypse, there's only one apocalypse in the whole world. I know that. Because... Um, in our Buddhist apocalypse, I consider Buddhism and Tibetan Tantric Buddhism to be the highest form of culture in the world. So that's why I am reluctant to announce the Christian apocalypse, which I'm doing now. I'm, I'm now announcing the Christian apocalypse to you people. And why am I doing that reluctantly? Because to me, it's the highest form of culture um, in the world uh, that is Tibetan Tantric Buddhism. That's the highest form of culture in the world. And it's not Christianity. Christianity is not the highest cult form of culture in the world for me. Christianity has waged uh, crusades and uh, religious wars and killed millions of people over centuries. So it's a very evil faith. Same thing with, uh, well, Islam is, is the worst thing existing in the world. And so, um, uh, so, uh, it's not good news for me to reveal the Christian apocalypse, but I'm doing it even so because uh, because this 666 showed up, and uh, that's a typically Christian miracle because it's announced in the Bible. But I was confronted with this miracle, and so I said, okay, I'm going to reveal this, and I, I have been revealing that for six years now since Obama was elected. But... Um, then you, people will say, people have often said to me, "Yeah, but you you have no dog in the fight. It's you 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 have no interest. You're it's it doesn't matter to me to you because you're a Buddhist. You have no uh, no uh, benefit from revealing this six 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 and that Obama is the Antichrist." Well, that's where people get it wrong because in our apocalypse uh, prophecy in Tibetan Tantric Buddhism. Um, that apocalypse prophecy is called the Kala Chakra. The, the teaching and the book where you can find that prophecy is called Kala Chakra. And in the Kala Chakra, it says that the, um, uh, the Antichrist, the, we don't call him the Antichrist, we call him the Demon King, Demon King Krinmati. His name is Krinmati. The Demon King Krinmati uh, will be uh, have the characteristics of following a f type of religion which is a mix of Islam, Christianity, and uh, Judaism. Uh, he he will follow eight prophets. The eight prophets are uh, I, I I can't s say all of them, but they, basically there's Moses, uh, Adam, um, Jesus, Muhammad, uh, Mani. And there are eight prophets, and so uh, Abraham. So there are like uh, four Jewish prophets from the Bible, who are also Christian and Muslim prophets. Then there is Jesus, like I just said, Jesus and, uh, and Muhammad. So he he follows a mix of uh, Jewish of the Jewish traditional prophets and uh, Christian and uh, Christians and. Um, and Muslim with Muhammad, and even with Mani, the Mani is the prophet of Manichaeism, and uh, Manichaeism is a religion which uh, mixed Christianity, Greek gods, and uh, and a strong Buddhist influence too. So, um, so you can see that he follows this uh, kind of mixed and uh, mongrel kind of faith, which mixes everything all together, which is typically what. Bu um, Obama does. Obama mixes Judaism, Christianity, and, and, and Islam, and he even has uh, amulets in his pocket with Hindu gods. So uh, he uh, uh, he has an amulet in his pocket which he carries around for good luck, which is a, a amulet of Hanuman, the the monkey king of Hinduism. So uh, Obama just mixes all the all the religions of the, on earth all together, and that's there's the perfect descri description in our Kala Chakra. Uh, Buddhist uh, apocalypse uh, prophecy. So, to me, uh, Obama perfectly fits the bill of being not only the Christian Antichrist, but uh, the uh, Buddhist Antichrist. 
So uh, to me, uh, the apocalypse which is announced for Buddhism uh, is revealed now with the fight against the Antichrist Obama. So, um, so that's so I'm the reluctant messenger. In, in, in the Bible, it talks about the reluctant messenger. I'm the reluctant messenger because uh, I have no uh, dog in the fight. I have no benefit uh, from uh, revealing the Christian apocalypse, but I'm doing it because in our Buddhist apocalypse, there is a detailed description of the Antichrist and it fits Obama perfectly. So I am convinced that Obama is the Christian Antichrist and... Um, I mean the Antichrist announced by the Bible so that Christians are afraid of this Antichrist and uh, but he he's also at the same time he uh, he he has the double uh, identity of also being the uh, Antichrist of Buddhism uh, which is feared the Antichrist which is feared by the, the Buddhists so uh, the fight against the Antichrist is the same for Buddhism and for Christianity so that's it. So I'm the reluctant messenger uh, as announced in uh, Christianity, in the, in the Bible. I'm the reluctant messenger because I'm, I'm an outsider to Christianity. But I'm still doing it because we have a description of the, the Antichrist and that fits Obama. So we have the, um, it's the same fight. I'm the Christian fight and my Buddhist fight. But I am the reluctant messenger because I'm not a Christian. And I have no, and for me, it's not good news to announce the Christian apocalypse and the return of Jesus. That's not good news for me. But, uh, but it's good news for me to be doing what I'm doing because I'm realizing my Buddhist apocalypse. So I hope this video is, uh, will, will make that very clear to everybody because I think I've, I've expressed it very clearly. Um, in my previous video, I was saying that uh, uh, anybody who is professing Christianity, saying, I am a Christian and we must follow Jesus and everything. Jesus in the Bible said, beware of those people and do not follow those people. So I, I made it very clear in my last uh, video that anybody coming in the name of Jesus uh, should not should uh, not be followed and people should be, be wary of those people. Anybody saying, uh, let's follow Jesus. Anybody saying they're Christian, Jesus said, beware of those people and don't follow them. Don't follow anybody coming in the name of Jesus. So uh, that's how it is in the apocalypse. In the apocalypse, uh, people's old beliefs and old faiths have to be swallowed up and people have to just, uh, people have to not recant their belief, but they have to shut up about it because it's, it's described in the Bible that uh, Christians will be loathed and uh, despised and looked down on, true Christians, and that there will be all these false Christs and false prophets. So it's very confused, and the apocalypse is very confused because all the ideas and beliefs and thinking systems will be uprooted. So I, I just wanted to explain all of that. So I just explained that all together. Okay, I hope this video will help a lot of people to understand what I'm talking about. Bye-bye.